back again for another episode of The Next 40. I'm your host, Jay Del Negro, and I really don't have much to talk about, but I am going to talk about this. I saw a video the other day, and the title of the video is My Tips for Breaking Out on YouTube or something to that effect. So that is not the title of the video. That is just what I could remember. But the gentleman said I had gained, he had gained 100 subscribers on YouTube overnight. And the way he did it was to steal the title of someone else's video. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do the same thing. The title he said he stole was YouTube is on easy mode. And guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to steal that title. So if you're watching this on YouTube, this is just for a piece, an experiment to see if in fact I can gain more subscribers by stealing a video title on YouTube. And I'm also going to explore life on easy mode and just random thoughts that are pouring out of my mind at the time that I'm recording this. Life on easy mode. I don't know. I don't know. Because as I've gotten older, I've become more aware and being more aware has made life a little less easy because you're always thinking about what's going on. You're conscious. Again, you're aware. You can't dismiss things because you see them for what they are and how they could blend and lead into other aspects of life from here and forevermore. Like, life being easy to me comes down to just being ignorant to things, like just being completely unaware of what is really, really going on because otherwise it's not easy. It's a challenge. It could be difficult when you know that if this happens, then that could lead to something else. We get so much information from the news that is, that is irrelevant. We get so much information from social media that is irrelevant. And so much of the stuff is based around entertainment. And then that mixes in with like real important things like sinkholes or some dire catastrophic, catastrophic thing or something that just really impacts a segment of society or a portion of the people you know or don't know. And then when you hear it, sometimes you don't know what to dismiss or take in because it's so much stuff. Like, how do you forget when you've consumed so much already? Like, how, how do you no longer know when you are fully aware of what's happening. I don't know how things get to be on easy mode once you've gotten to a point where you just know what it is. Like, how do you, how do you get back to simpler times when you're abreast and aware of a lot that goes on? Because if you turn it off, you turn it off, you start to feel irresponsible. And I don't like feeling irresponsible. There are, there are a number of things I just don't care about. And those things can, can range from being very important to being nonsense and fruitless to middle of the road kinds of things. But it just doesn't seem easier as life goes on. Maybe, maybe if I had a windfall of cash and I didn't have to worry about the regular day-to-day -day things, then maybe life might feel like it's on easy mode. Like there was just a big change of how things work for me. I could possibly feel the easy mode reference, but generally like, I don't know how you get there. How do you get to easy mode? Is it through meditation and seeking peace and listening to the inner voice and working through intention. Cause I feel like that's hard too. Like trying to figure out intention itself is, is hard, whether it's your own intention or someone else's intention, because for every voice, that could be a counter voice. That could be some counterproductivity. And if you don't have reinforcement of what you're looking to do, and you're just like relying on what you have, if you don't have any counsel or any, any sort of support that 
promotes what you want for yourself, then it can be a little challenging, right? Um, because who's to stop you? Who, who's to stop you from thinking what you think is correct, especially if there's no other points to help you see differently or no other point of reference that gets back to what you believe in. So like that can be hard. Is it, is it through reading the works of someone else or listening to someone else speak that isn't in reference to you, just general good placement of like logic and sensibilities? Like is, does that help you have an easy mode life if you get something from someone else who got something for themselves? You know what I mean? Like self-help books or, or uh, some counseling or, or group sessions or something to that effect. Like how do you, how do you get to easy mode? Now, if I had to think about it and say for myself, like, how am I going to get to easy mode? And I give it some real thought. Out of the two options that I just laid out, just a windfall of money to change my experience or like seeking inner reflection and having some sort of counsel or reinforcement about the things I want. I would say it's more column B than column A. Column A helps a lot. That would be significant but you'd still be seeking something else. And I just don't know if I'm living in easy mode, if I'm working off of easy mode, how do I know? How do you know? How do you, how do you know what's in easy mode? Like, could you tell me if you're listening to this, could you tell me what you think or feel like easy mode looks like for you? Cause I would love to hear it. If I go back to the initial subject of stealing someone else's title, to make a video or presentation for YouTube. That is easy. Like just take something that doesn't belong to you. It's not genuine. It's not authentic. It's just you trying to come up with a way to get something that works, but does it really work for you or does it just work? Because if you have to keep going down the road of being disingenuous, I would have to think that that doesn't help you grow, right? That, that, that can't help you grow. I might gain some more followers and I might gain some more eyes or something to that effect. But as a 44 year old man, I don't want to be disingenuous to myself. I want to honor myself. So this time, J. Del Negro is going to steal the title because someone said to try it and they had results and I'm looking for results. I'm looking to experiment. I'm bored. I'm bored. I'm, I'm, this, this, this is an easy thing for me to do. Just try something because cause, cause I'm bored and to see how this works. And I appreciate you listening, but really tell me. Leave a comment. Send me an email, jdelnegro at gmail.com. Would you know if your life was on easy mode? How do you recognize that you've successfully done just something to ponder, right? Something to ponder. Like plenty of us have achieved goals and had marginal successes or great successes and things that we wanted for ourselves, right? But does it ever get easy? What does easy feel like? I felt like I had some Dr. Umar in me when I said easy, fit, but definitely not, definitely not. I just, I like to hear from you all. What does easy mode look like and feel like for you let me know leave a comment if you're watching this on youtube send me an email at jdelnegro at gmail.com welcome to the next 40.